back. Okay, listen, this time it wasn't me being lazy. It was my laptop broke. I decided to put my laptop on top of all my clean clothing on my dresser. And then I slowly watched it just collapse. I damaged the logic board, so I my audio wasn't working and the computer was just really glitchy, so I wasn't able to edit anything, so that's why, hence, I have not filmed. But I am back in the business. I got my new laptop. Today, I am showing you guys this entire look that I did featuring Wet n Wild Cosmetics. Now, I did attend a Wet n Wild slumber party themed event. It was with a lot of other YouTube girls, vloggers, bloggers, 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 YouTube girls, uh, the whole shebang. just want to show you guys all the goodies that I was able to take with me to give away to you guys. So I'm going to show you guys because it's a whole load. Look at all these goodies. Yup, this whole bag right here is full of brand new Wet n Wild products. Actually, a lot of them are the Fergie, the new Fergie collection. I'm super excited because that's the palette that I use today on my eyes is the Fergie palette. One of the Fergie palettes. I'm gonna have, I want to say about like five to six giveaways in this video. So before that, before going on to the tutorial, all you have to do to enter this is simply tell me what's the best thing or the funnest thing you did this summer and what are you looking for in the fall. So yeah, just answer that question so it's not like just enter me because that's like a robot and it's kind of boring and I don't like boring. So let me know what your, I guess, best memory this summer was. If you did something new or something out of the ordinary, like last year I went skydiving, so that was like the highlight of last year. This year, I wanna say actually, it was pretty much going to beauty events. And I'm looking forward to fall fashion. Yes, my favorite. Let me know, I'm gonna have just random, I think about six winners. I wanna give everyone, I guess, a decent amount of products. So I have mascara, I have eye palette, I have eyeliners, I have bronze palettes. This palette, this is the Fergie palette. I have bronzers. And I wanna thank everyone at the Wet n Wild party. You guys were so generous, so sweet, and I'm really happy that I got to mingle and communicate with other girls and just, I don't know, just, you know, chat. And also, if you head over to the Wet n Wild Instagram and follow them, I did get featured in one of their pictures. I had a onesie pajama on and it was a slumber party event. As well as follow me on Instagram, Natty Midnight. Pretty simple, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. I almost dropped the camera. You see? I don't know what's going on with me this year. So the first thing you're going to do is use a primer and that's just going to prevent your eyeshadows from creasing. I'm using this one. The Wet n Wild. I already applied it. I have another one that I already opened and it's somewhere on my bed. That's why I don't want to reach for it. One of you guys will be getting this. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. This is called Desert Festival and I absolutely love this. I think it's the perfect palette transitioning from summer to fall. I'm using a flat brush, something small like this. It's pretty sh kind of champagne color kind of between like a mix of champagne ivory. And I'm just gonna pat that onto my lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more and just apply it underneath my brow bone. Right here, and yeah, I'm listening to the Tiesto Live at Electric Zoo, which I did attend. I'm going to go into that orangey copper toned color, which is absolutely beautiful right there. It's actually more orange. I'm just going to work this into the outer part of my crease and then a little bit above in a windshield wiper motion. So like back and forth, back and forth. Then you could also just swirl this around like this. And I always start off at the outer part because wherever you initially place your brush or whatever, that's where the most amount of color is going to go on. So if you don't want a huge blob of like orange right here, I'd say start off out here. As you see, that's a lot more vibrant than on our way in. And you always want the colors to fade in. It's going to be a little bit darker on the ends and then lighter on the innermost part. I'm going to go in with the color in the middle, this matte 
color and I also like that it has two matte colors actually. It has this brown one right here and then the orange one that I applied because you don't want an all shimmery look, an all matte look. You want some dimension with this right here and this pointy brush like this. Now I'm going to start applying it right in the outermost part in kind of like a v-shape. So you want to go down and kind of just brush it in lightly. I'm not pressing too hard. And then a little bit into the crease. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shimmery color. So this shimmery color right here. I'm going to apply that along the bottom part where the lash line is. Uh, the small brush that I used to apply the brow bone color and the inner part color, or the initial lid color, I'm going to go in with this peachy toned shimmery color. It doesn't have too much shimmer. Slightly patted over the brown, so you're going to create like a smoked out effect. Again, because it just helps with the transitionings of the darks to the lightest. It's going to look a lot nicer. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the look. What I'm gonna do now, I know it's like super simple. You're like, why did you even make a tutorial on this? I love watching all tutorials, even if it is just basic colors. I kind of, I don't know, I, I always learn something new from everyone's technique is a little bit different, but yeah. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner and false lashes. I love eyeliner and I love false lashes. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back. Alright, so I already applied my eyeliner, my liquid eyeliner, and my eyelashes. If you're wondering what eyeliner I used, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This one right here, this little tubey. Now what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Wet n Wild Bronzer in Bikini Contest. So it looks like this. It's pretty big. I'm just going to start contouring. I do have a separate contouring video if you're interested in that. I'm just going to do it briefly here. Now I'm not going to really define anything, I'm just kind of giving myself an overall bronze look or effect. For blush I'm going to use pearlescent pink and it's this one right here. It is pretty matte, it has a slight, slight sheen to it, but not really. Um, so yeah, it's this pinky color right here, it's not too pink, too rosy, so it's perfect. Especially because we have that orange or coral color onto our lids. My bones. I love this song. I'm looking at my window. And you see how pigmented this is? I love this song, sorry. Woo! Alright, enough of that. Um, so yeah, you see how pigmented this is? You don't even need to re-dip your brush into the blush. It's kind of a tongue twister, re-dip your blush. I mean your brush into the blush. As a highlighter color, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild highlighter in, what color is this in? Reserve Your Cabana. And it looks like this. It's pretty white. I thought initially this was like a translucent powder, but it's not. I like that it's matte. Again, I'm not a fan of too much shimmer because of my skin texture. So if you want to just bring some light into your nose right here. It brings out your best features whenever you highlight. Kind of just makes your nose look a lot more defined. And a little bit right here at the tops of my cheeks. Just a tiny, tiny amount. I think that pretty much concludes, or completes, not concludes, completes the look. I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect for a summer into fall transition. Alright, so here's a close-up on the look. I almost forgot to mention that for my lips, I have... This is in A Rock Full of Roses. I, ooh, I like that name. This onto my lips. Sorry, I like to smell my products. <laughs> that was a really dumb laugh. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through all these years that I've been doing YouTube videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is the other social, I guess, network site that I use the most, aside from YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!